Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Rob and this is Bluegrass Profits. I'm breaking down my record week of sales on Amazon over the, well, last one week. All the items from this video are gonna be the items that I sold from August 12th through August 18th in that seven day stretch of time period. Um, so you guys, you know, you'll know that you'll watch all these videos and people are like, I made this much money, I made this much money. And you don't actually make that money until you, the item sells and you can uh, pocket the profits. So this is me just kind of showing you the items that I'm buying and how fast they are selling. And so yes, if you guys like that, go ahead and stay tuned. I have a lot of items to share with you guys. These all typically consisted of clearance finds um, that I found at multiple locations across multiple shopping trips. Um, but needless to say, it was a great time. I even had some OA sprinkled into the mix. I'm gonna show you those items, but I'm not gonna tell you where I found them from. So. I want to leave that to you to find those items because they were great and they sold fast. I had one item in particular that I bought a bunch of and it sold out in under 36 hours. I had 20 of them total, so I went ahead and bought 50 more expecting the same results. Therefore, the month of September should be phenomenal. So let's get right into the channel and into the video and I'm going to show you everything that sold on Amazon. All right, to start off the bat, we have these Adidas uh, Tiro XXL track pants. This was, uh, they were gray in color. I bought these on July 12th of 2022 this year. And one thing to note, typically from when I buy these pants, or buy anything for that matter, give it like one to two weeks and they're getting checked into Amazon. I'm really trying to get all this inventory in and get it out the door that way I can sell quickly. But again, this sold between August 12th and August 18th. I paid $17.89 for this pair of pants. This was after tax. I sold these for $45, which gave me a net profit of $12.63. So this is $12.63 plus my $17.89, which is like 30 something. So that's how much I got back after I spent my $17.89. Um, so my ROI for this is gonna be 78%. So pretty good on that investment. I really didn't hold on to these very long. Um, by, the, by the time they got checked into Amazon FBA, they probably sat on the shelf two or three weeks. So let's go ahead and show you the second item on the list. I'm just going to keep working my way up the list from the items from when they sold. So just stay tuned. I'm going to get to the items that I bought from OA that actually come in the third item. And then all the RA items as well. So let's get to it. Next up here, guys, we have some command hooks. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be a little discreet on what these actually are, just because they're probably easy to find. Um, but I bought these on July 27th online through this website. I paid $7.99 because I got a 20% off coupon. They tend to send these 20% out, 20% off pretty often, so it might help to narrow down the store. But I paid $19 for these, which gave me a profit of $4.09, which was an ROI of 51%. All, I think I had 11 of these because the store actually shorted me one when I ordered them. I ordered 12, they actually sent 11. And I really, I was like, how do you get your money back from that when you can't prove that you opened the box up and there was nothing in it? Like that just seemed a little mischievous to me. So I didn't even worry about it. I was like, whatever, not a big deal. I didn't pay that much for it. But I had 11 of these. These all sold out probably in under 40 hours. It was it was pretty phenomenal. So I'm ready to go buy some more, just waiting on that next 20% off coupon. So yeah, so this next item here is my big slam dunk of the whole entire week. Here we have this Lego yacht. Um, this was an online find. Um, I bought 20 of these on July 30th. I bought, bought them for $14.99. And these sold for $32.95, which gave me a profit of $6.72, which was an ROI of 42%. Um, it's pretty good, I bought online. I didn't have to go out to the store and I was able to buy a mass amount of these. One thing to note, I can still get them for the same price, which I actually already did. Um, I ended up buying 50 more from this website. Uh, the kicker with this one is I bought them with a 15% off coupon, which gets my price from $14.99 down to $13.50. Plus, I actually already sold one at $34.95. So the room, the ceiling is just much more, but the fact that I sold 20 of these inside of 36 hours on Amazon, I was like, you know, let's just churn and burn, let's just send them out and let's just make more. So essentially, you know, 672 times 20, 
I don't know what, that's like $134 just from this one item and it's sold in under 36 hours. So I went ahead and bought more. Uh, this next item as well is another replen, uh, not a replen. It's an item I bought from Online Arbitrage. It was kind of neat. Um, this is just another reason to branch out into many categories. So let's go ahead and show you what that item is. Here we have some dog treats. Uh, I bought these online on August 8th. This came from an online retailer. Um, I paid $14.92 for this bundle listing. If you guys are sleeping on bundles, you really shouldn't because they do very well. Oftentimes what I've found so far, a lot of bundles don't typically, um, you're not gated in them from what I'm finding because this item in particular, I am gated in the actual brand but because of it's a, this bundle listing, I'm actually able to sell it all. I don't know, I'm gonna keep doing it until the cows come home, right? Uh, sold this for $27.99, which gave me a profit of $4.91, an ROI of 33%. I originally purchased five of these, uh, just kind of as a test run. They all sold out extremely fast. So what I ended up doing is I bought 12 more because that's all I was allowed to buy um, from this website. Um, and expecting again, you know, I paid the same price, $14.92. I should sell these for $27.99. They're starting to check into Amazon already. So I expect those to sell as soon as they're all checked in. So yeah, so that's great. Uh, this next one here, it's an oldie but a goodie. Um, I think I actually squeezed out a little bit of money on it. Yeah, I've been sitting on this next one since February. So not very good, but they got to go. So let's go show you what they are. So here we have some Under Armour boxer briefs. I bought these from Kohl's on February 20th of 2022. These have been sitting for a little while. Um, they were purchased once before and then returned to Amazon. Um, so needless to say, they finally sold out again, which I was pretty happy for. I do believe Amazon came on the listing with this one. And so they've been sitting and I've just been holding out, holding out, holding out. So they finally sold. Um, paid $18.64 for these, probably not the best price. Um, sold them for $35 and I made $4.87 profit. That's what, after all my storage fees from sitting on Amazon shelves for the last six months. It's an ROI of about 25%. Um, one thing with these, I was finding a bunch of these different variations of this boxer brief. And I just, I made this giant loop around my entire area which I think I have like 14 coals. Um, and I was just pulling these left and right. Just every single variation was just going right out the door selling super fast. So I was like, you know, 1864, I'm buying. So that's what I did. Um, probably wasn't the best decision. Um, my best advice here is to always slow down and scan every individual product, um, unless they are all the same size. Um, I had a lot of these, these were in different sizes, but they were also different color waves. That's kind of where it kicked me in the butt because this wave in particular, Amazon was on the listing here and there periodically and that's why I never sold and I never lowered my price. So that's part of it. So looking ahead, we got um, a Nike polo, we got some headbands, we got a Target clearance find. Um, and we also have another item where somebody bought four of these and these were not cheap. Uh, these were like $44 a piece. So stay tuned. I'm going to break down those and why somebody bought four. I couldn't tell you, but let's find out. A Nike dry fit polo. This is going to be for juniors. So those little tykes, I guess. Well, middle-aged tykes. I don't know. Um, anywho, I bought this on July 10th, 2022. This was bought at Kohl's. I paid $9.54 for this item. Um, that was after tax. The sold price on this polo was $35, which gave me a net profit of $16.21. That's an ROI of 169%. Pretty phenomenal, if you ask me. So next up here, we have this Adidas Alpha Skin headband. I actually bought two of these from Kohl's. Um, I paid $4.45 for these on July 12th and I sold each of these for $19.99, which was a profit of $8.71 uh, for each, which gave me a net total of $17.42 profit. My ROI for just individual one is 196%, so pretty good find. Uh, this next one, like I said, is a target find. Um, the wife and I, we were heading to the store and I was like, I gotta check the clearance out. 
And sure enough, these were on sale, so I snagged all these and made some money. Let's see what they are. Neutrogena Stubborn Acne is going to be next on the list here. Uh, these were bought at Target on clearance for um, $7.14. This was after tax. I sold these individually for $22.49, which gave me a net profit of $4.91 each. But the fact that I sold six of them inside of this week's time frame uh, gave me $29.46 profit. So went to the store for personal things and walked out with $30 in profit. Um, well worth the trip to scan the clearance aisle for a couple minutes. Um, uh, if I didn't already just mention ROI on that, it was 69% for each of those. So yeah, let's go ahead and break down this item next that sat on the shelf for quite a while since April, um, but somebody bought four of these and I still don't know why. So these Hurley Men's Joggers, um, I bought these on April 10th at Kohl's. Um, I paid $13.06 for these. Um, I do believe these were size medium. They were, I just looked. Um, I sold these guys for $43.99 and I made a profit of $18.83 on each pair. Uh, the ROI is 144%. So the one thing with this, I sold five of these this week, but one customer bought four of them. And I'm like, that is weird. Um, my initial thought was somebody was like trying to essentially hold the inventory hostage and this is this is a theory from some Amazon sellers where people will like buy it um, but the payment won't it'll be in pending status for a while and then they will because they themselves are selling the item and from there it just promotes them to get the sales ahead of time which is against Amazon's terms of service However, I am the only person in all of Amazon that had these pants in stock, so that can't be the case. So I really don't know why. My only guess is that maybe they had four kids around the same size or they wanted extra pairs or really loved them. I don't know, but I got rid of them and I'm pretty happy with that. And this, I think these, I don't know, it's probably been two weeks now. Haven't got a return on any of them, so that's encouraging, yeah. Uh, next up here, we got some Hagger pants. Um, we got some Under Armour shirts. We got those Nike football gloves where I scored at Hibbets. That was a good thing. We got some uh, a new item that I have yet to share with you guys. I briefly mentioned in the last video um, that I did post. Um, and we also have some Nike Dry Fit two pieces that I picked up from TJ Maxx yet to come. Um, these were hit hard with price tankers. But I held through and I got my price, so always avoid a price tanker. And if you are one, shame on you, but I'm guilty of it too, so it happens. Um, but yeah, let's break down, let's keep it going. So with uh, Q4 coming up, Amazon starts cracking down on the items that are not moving within your inventory, just kind of stagnant. So I have these Hagger pants here. These are actually gonna be a 36 by 30 size. Um, I bought these on February 6th from Kohl's and I paid $14.07 for these. Um, I ended up dropping the price just way down, $30, and I was like, I gotta get rid of these things, get them off the shelf, because that's gonna help the IPI score go up and it's just gonna help, you know, everything look good. Amazon's like, finally got rid of it. Um, even at $30, I made $4 in profit. I was originally trying to sell these guys for like $55, $65 which is what they retail for. So I'm not, you know, ch charging anymore. Um, ROI on these guys was 28%. Uh, but I got rid of them and I actually, what I ended up doing was I ended up going through all of my Hagger pants, pretty much any item that I bought back in February of this year, I just started slashing prices and I noticed um, things actually started to move. It's kind of one of the reasons I feel like I should get a repricer, but at the same time, I don't want to pay for a repricer because I'm cheap and I want to keep those uh, the cash flow going um, so yeah um, still made profit even with six months of fees which was pretty good um, and I'm thinking I have a lot of items I've shared with you 10 items now and so I'm gonna go ahead and split this up into two parts just because these videos tend to be very long and drawn out and boring so I'm gonna go ahead and jump forward I'm gonna start with part two so go ahead and Go ahead and click right here and that's going to pull you right to part two of this video so 
I appreciate you being here and let's go watch that one.